Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Mena. I am here with a new story for the week and um, it's Amelia Bedelia. So thank you Amelia Bedelia by Peggy Parrish. Pictures by Barbara Siebel Thomas. So I hope everybody's doing good and we'll see each other on our Zoom meeting tomorrow. So I'm excited about that. And I hope everybody had a happy Easter, okay? And so I'll just go ahead and start reading. So it says, thank you, Amelia by Bedelia, story by Peggy Parrish. Mrs. Rogers was all in a dither. Great Aunt Myra is coming today. Now that is nice, said Amelia Bedelia. I do love company. We've been trying for years to get her to visit, said Mrs. Rogers, but Great Aunt Myra says the only place she feels at home is at home. So everything must be exactly right. We do want her to be happy here. Now don't you worry your head, said Amelia Bedelia. I'll fix everything. What should I do first? Well, the guest room must be made ready. Strip the sheets off the bed, remake it with the new these new rosebud sheets, said Mrs. Rogers. Thank goodness you're here. Amelia Bedelia went to the guest room. These folks do have odd ways. Imagine stripping sheets after you use them. Uh-oh. What does she think stripping sheets means? Stripping sheets means taking them off the bed, but she thinks it's something else. So Amelia Bedelia, she shook her head, but she did strip those sheets. Uh-oh. She started tearing them up. Amelia Bedelia had just finished when the doorbell rang. That must be the laundry man with Mr. Rogers' shirts, called Mrs. Rogers. Please check them and make sure they're all there. Amelia Bedelia hurried to the door and took the package. Amelia Bedelia opened the package and she unfolded each shirt. Two sleeves, one collar, one pocket, and six buttons. Yep, they're all here. Oh boy. Is that what Mrs. Rogers meant? She didn't mean to actually check them. She just wanted to make sure they were all there. There's not a thing missing, said Amelia Bedelia. Now to check them, it would be a sight easier to buy them already checked, said Amelia Bedelia, but she quickly checked each shirt. Oh boy, look what she did. She took paint and she checked each shirt. Is that what Mrs. Rogers meant? Mrs. Rogers came downstairs in a rush. Amelia Bedelia, my bright pink dress has spots in it. Please remove them with the spot remover. Leave the dress out. I will wear it tonight. Now I must go to the market. Amelia Bedelia looked at the bright pink dress. I don't see any spots. This dress just needs washing. Then another dress caught Amelia Bedelia's eye. She must have meant her light pink dress. Now that one sure is spotted. Amelia Bedelia held the dress up. It looks mighty nice with the spots in it, but I guess she's tired of it that way. Oh boy. Amelia Bedelia put spot remover on each spot. Then she waited. Nothing happened. Didn't think that stuff would work, said Amelia Bedelia. So she got the scissors. Uh oh and Amelia Bedelia removed every spot from that dress. Oh boy, she's cutting out the spots of the polka dotted dress. Amelia Bedelia called Mrs. Rogers, please take these groceries. Amelia Bedelia ran, ran to take the bag. Here are some roses too. Do scatter them around the living room. I must get my hair done now. While I'm gone, wash all the vegetables and string the beans. If you have time, make a jelly roll. Grant Aunt Myra does love jelly rolls, said Mrs. Rogers. Uh-oh, that was a lot of things to ask her to do, huh? Amelia Bedelia stopped in the living room. Seems like roses would look nicer sitting proper like in vases, but if she wants them scattered, scattered they will be. Uh-oh, she scattered them all around the living room. She just threw them. Amelia Bedelia went on to the kitchen with the groceries. She washed all the vegetables. Then she found a ball of string, and Amelia Bedelia strung all those beans. Uh-oh. She 
jelly. Roll, exclaimed Amelia Bedelia. I never heard I never heard tell of jelly rolling, but Amelia Bedelia got out a jar of jelly. Amelia Bedelia tried it again and again, but she just could not get that jelly to roll. Oh boy, what a mess. She took out a big ball of jelly and is rolling it around instead of making a cake, right? A jelly roll is like a cake. Amelia Bedelia washed her hands. She got out a mixing bowl. Amelia Bedelia began to mix a little of this and a pinch of that. Great Aunt Myra, or no great, great Aunt Myra, there's not going to be any rolling jelly in this house tonight, said Amelia Bedelia. Mr. and Mrs. Rogers arrived home at the same time. Mrs. Rogers called. Amelia Bedelia, please separate three eggs and pair the other vegetables you washed. I'll do the cooking. Then she and Mr. Rogers hurried upstairs to dress. Amelia Bedelia took out three eggs. I wonder why they need to be separated. They've been together all day and nothing happened. But Amelia Bedelia separated those eggs. Here are the vegetables, Amelia Bedelia laughed. Here you two go together and you two. Now be careful or I'll be separating you two. Oh boy, she didn't really understand what she meant, did she? Amelia Bedelia went up to Mrs. Rogers' room. What should I do with these strip sheets, she asked. Strip sheets, exclaimed Mrs. Rogers, but she got no further. Uh-oh. Mr. Rogers roared. What in thunder nation happened to my shirt? Oh, don't you like big checks? I didn't have time to do little ones, but I will next time, promised Amelia Bedelia. Oh man, she checkered all his shirts with paint. His white shirt, she put red checkers on it. My dress, exclaimed Mrs. Rogers, it's full of holes. Yes, ma'am, I removed every single spot, said Amelia Bedelia. Before Mrs. Rogers could say any more, the doorbell rang. Great Aunt Myra, said Mr. and Mrs. Rogers. They rushed to the front door. Uh-oh. I keep saying uh-oh because Amelia and Bedelia is a mess, isn't she? Good evening, grandniece. Good evening, grandnephew. My, that trip made me hungry, said Great Aunt Myra. I'll cook dinner right now, said Mrs. Rogers. Everybody went into the kitchen. Oh, let me show you the picture. Thank you. Amelia Bedelia, did you string the beans, asked Mrs. Rogers. Yes, see, they do give such a homey look, said Amelia Bedelia. Oh, man, she actually put all the beans on a string, but that's not what that means to string beans. String beans means to take the string off the beans, right? That little string on them. Where are the eggs I asked you to separate, said Mrs. Rogers. Here's one. One is behind the clock and the other is over there. Did I separate them far enough? Asked Mrs. Asked Amelia Bedelia. Mrs. Rogers said nothing. So Amelia Bedelia went on. So she put the eggs in different places and thought that's what she meant. But to separate the eggs, what does that mean? You take the egg and you crack it and you separate the white from the yellow, right? From the yolk. And I paired the vegetables. They went together real well and there weren't any left over. Mrs. Rogers slapped her hand on the table. It hit right into a sticky blob. Ugh, what is that? She shouted. Uh-oh, the jelly roll. Jelly, I tried to make it roll, but it just plipped and plopped all over the place, said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia, exclaimed Mrs. Rogers. How do you get things so mixed up? Things mixed up? Oh, I plum forgot, said Amelia Bedelia. She hurried to the stove. Amelia Bedelia opened the oven door. Great Aunt Myra sat up straight and sniffed. Hot apple pie, I do declare. Now that's the kind of mixed up thing I like. Great Aunt Myra announced, Grandniece, Grandnephew, I like it here. Oh, great, great Aunt Myra, we're so glad, said Mr. and Mrs. Rogers. They both began to talk at once.
But Great Aunt Myra wasn't much for words. She had her eyes on the last piece of pie. Great Aunt Myra put the last piece of pie on her plate. Then she said, Grandniece, Grandnephew, I will visit you often. That Amelia Bedelia really knows how to make a body feel at home. Thank you, Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia smiled. She and Great Aunt Myra would get along. The end. So that Amelia Bedelia, huh? She's a little bit of a hot mess express, I call her. But I love these books. They're so much fun, and it just makes me laugh that she is always mixing things up with everything. So I hope you enjoyed that book. And um, it is Thursday, so settle in and listen to your story time. We would be at library today, and I miss you guys. I really wish we were in school, but I know we're all home so we can stay safe and keep each other safe. So I will continue to pray for you all. And I think about you all the time. I tell you this all the time, but I really do. And I hope we'll see each other real soon, okay? Love you guys. We'll talk soon. Bye.